What's good guys, in this video we're going to be breaking down how to stop the gun bunch in Madden 22 and we're going to go a little bit in depth with a coverage defense that I'm finding a little bit of success with in terms of defending the gun bunch. Obviously the gun bunch is the best offense in the game, it's the offense that I run, it's the offense that pretty much every pro player right now is running because it's so dang hard to stop it. And uh, so we're anyway, in this video, we're going to show you how to do it. So um, my defensive guide is on sale, uh, the Nickel 335 Odd. I think the Nickel 335 Odd is the best defense in the game. So if you want to get access to my defensive guide, it's on sale for just 15 bucks in the description. So we're going to show you one of the defenses that we've cooked up out of this um, out of this LB Cross 3 Show 2. But that is LB Cross 3 Show 2, in my opinion, is the best play in the game on defense. It's the best coverage. It's the best base, base way to play defense. You know, we're going to talk about why in this video you can actually get some very good coverage out of the seam flat zone in this year's game even though there's not a whole lot of great coverage in terms of zones um, seam flat in my opinion is one of the best ways to combat some of the things that the gun bunch is going to do so with that being said if you want to get the defensive guide there's a link in the description below so you just head down in the description on your phone or on your tablet or on your browser and you click the link uh, in the description that I put down there. It's a website. It'll take you to the website and it'll get you guys uh, the defensive guide. So if you want to get access to it, it is down in the description. Okay, guys, so I wanted to dive into this. Uh, we're to, first and foremost, I want to talk about my zone drops. So um, if you take a look here, my zone drops are five on my flats are on five, my curl flats are on 15, and my hooks are on five yards. Um, this is kind of my base way to defend gun bunch until they kind of force me out of this cocktail. Um, but this, for my money, is the best way to play it right now. So we're our, uh, coming out in LB Cross 3 Show 2. Auto flip is on because we're defending Bunch, um, and they love to flip the formation. So that being said, I first want to go over how we can defend um, the, the Z spot and go and some of the concepts that I got Bunch this year. So first things first, um, you have to first identify, like, okay, what am I going to use her and what am I not? One of the things that's not that bad for you to use her this year is the vertical crossing route. Like you can go get that with your user. Sometimes you'll even be able to jump that with this deep third on the left. So you can go get that. Um, my base setup is to spread my line, crash my line down, show my blitz here. And you're gonna see that this is kind of the base look that we're gonna give you know people that are running gun bunch. Now, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna bring my user over in here because this is gonna help me um, be able to send pressure. It's going to help me be able to stop the run. So that's kind of where I want my user to be. So this is kind of what the defense looks like. And then now let's get into the coverage. So remember, we put our purples on 15. So our purples are on 15. What that means practically is they're going to play things like out routes, corner routes, um, flood concepts to that side. And then the other thing that we've done is we're going to put our flats on five. So what I like to do in terms of the stopping the tight end route um, that I think is super, super powerful, just a simple tight end flat route. Uh, what I like to do this year is I'm actually going to take my defensive end and put him into a hard flat and make sure, really important, that you shade coverage outside and you pass commit. I can't stress how important that is this year. It is so critical to your success. The next thing that I'm going to do is I can do a lot with this uh, with Devin White, my, little, my middle linebacker here. He can actually do a lot... Um, in terms of for my defense. And we're gonna get into a couple of different ways we can use him to play some pretty decent coverage. But first things first, we're just gonna simply put him in a hard flat for this first uh, kind of look at this coverage here. And as you can see, this is basically a three, uh, a three man rush, Mabel coverage. And this is how we're gonna kind of start out with defending the gun bunch. Now, one thing really clear I wanna make sure you understand is that this inside third defender in my opinion, gets manipulated a lot in the gun bunch this year. So I also like to turn him into an inside quarter if possible. Um, and you'll see this is kind of the this is kind of the basics, uh, the basic Mabel concept that we can re we can create. Obviously, I'm going to use her in the middle of the field to the right side. So my lurk is going to go. If you actually look at this, my lurk is going to go down. It's going to go right, and then I'm looking over here. For a post or a crosser on the bunch side so practically speaking you know I'm gonna be this yellow zone right here okay practically speaking okay so that being said I guess practically speaking I'm actually gonna be the inside third defender so anyways I'm just gonna put him in that and I just want to show you the routes here on the right side so again make sure you're pass committing and we just set up a simple flood concept here 
uh, and then I'm going to put a backside dig route, which is very popular, and then we're just going to show you the coverage. So first things first, you see the tight end flat route is taken away. Why? Because of the pass commit and because of the shading outside. The tight end flat route gets taken away by that defensive end, which is super, super huge in this game, in my opinion. Like That's where you have to start against Gun Bunch, um, is that we can we take away that tight end flat? Now, uh, the next thing that you're going to do, or the next route that we're going to show you is the corner route. Um, the corner route to the, um, the the outside on the left side. So same coverage, remember shade outside. It's so important this year. Shade your coverage outside against Gun Bunch. That's my biggest piece of advice when defending that formation. But now let's take a look at this corner route and I just wanna show you how this 15 yard zone drop defends it and the third together keyword together they do a decent job so let's take a look at this in instant replay and what you'll see is you take the the seam flat will basically pass him off to it so you see here he's going to sit on it he kind of drops and here i mean you've got a lot of grass to throw this but if you take a look this guy actually breaks down on the ball and now he comes down and plays the corner route because we have this inside quarter you're seeing the inside quarter is taking the vertical streak up the seam. Okay, so that's kind of like bunch defense part one um, for me. That's bunch defense part one. Okay, that's a real simple way where you can actually deter them from running a flood concept uh, against gun bunch. Really simple, but the biggest thing is that you're shading your coverage outside. To me, that is the most important thing you can do this year in your coverages. You always wanna be shading outside, um, especially if there's any kind of possibility that they will throw a vertical streak up your up the seam. Now let me show this to you again. And what you see there is the corner doesn't quite break on the ball. The reason why is because I didn't put the inside quarter zone um, to that defender. So that third doesn't have Again, you got to understand these zones work together. They work together, so and they work off of one another. So that's super important uh, to see. So another thing that we can do from a coverage perspective is now I want to get into the play. Uh, I want to go over Z spot one more time. So let's go over LB cross. And so you see here, this is kind of the look. So now I'm going to put that quarter zone out there, and I put the flat. And if you want to, you can actually base a line against Gun Bunch, and it's not terrible from an alignment perspective. So you certainly can do that. But let's just take a look at this basic flood. Watch this R1 receiver. We shade it outside. And you see there, see how he sits on it? See how he sits on it? That's the, that's the combination of shading outside and putting an inside quarter over there. Okay? So now I want to go over, I'm going to punt the ball back to myself, and I want to go over... Uh, how you can stop some of the other things once you're stop once you start stopping the flooding concept okay once you're able to stop the flood concept in my opinion that's where you have to at least start there you have to foundationally be able to stop three strong to the trips whether it be out of verticals or or uh, corner routes so now let's talk about how you can stop uh, some of the other stuff that they can do so I'm gonna go and gun bunch, and I'm gonna grab the play uh, flood. If I can find it, flood. Flood is another really popular play. I think it's a very necessary play this year because of the way that um, you know zone drops just are gonna be in a little bit of trouble. I think zone drops is not the answer this year as far as like 25 and five. Um, flood just absolutely obliterates that coverage. So, anyways, let's just go over this real quick. So. Again, I'm just gonna set my, my coverage up and you see this is kind of what we're looking at. Obviously, I'm gonna use her here and then I'm gonna go down uh, to, the, to that middle third. So anyways, that being said, uh, take a look at this out route. You're gonna see this out route goes and if I try to throw that, that's where that 15 yard curl flat comes in. Now, the ability to have a 15 yard curl flat this year is basically me saying that corner routes are good. They're not necessarily great this year. They're good, not great. Every so you've got to have something that stops a corner. Obviously, you see the pressure just absolutely screamed, only sending two people or three people, which is why the 3-2-5 on is so good. But you see us be able to uh, be able to bag a, a corner route 
and the out route. To me, that's where you, you absolutely have to start there. You gotta stop the flat, you gotta stop the out, and you gotta stop the corner route. And if you can stop those three things, to me, that's that's a very big step in the right direction against Gun Bunch this year. It's so hard to stop those three things. Um, and so anyways, that's that's kind of point, you know, kind of point one. And then obviously, like I said, your user is really um, lurking the middle on the bunch side. I find that to be super important. So that being said, I want to go over um, another concept that you're going to see at a gun bunch, and that is this crossing route out of the play verticals this year, um, and it is very effective. And again, this is primarily where your user is going to be. So if they flip the bunch this year, you definitely want to flip with them and then basically set your coverage up which your coverage really doesn't take a ton uh, in terms of setup. So you see here, I'm pretty much set up, and here's the coverage. Now, on this right side, okay, really, really important. Sometimes uh, you can deep half this guy. Um, you can also outside third him. You could inside quarter him. You could do a lot of different things. But one of the things I want you to watch is I want you to watch this three rack. Obviously, I'm going to use the crosser. But I want you to watch this, this kind of play all the way out, and then we'll just look at it in this replay. So watch how this coverage works. Right there to there, and then he throws the corner. Okay, at the crosser. So let me just show this lurk and why this middle hook zone is so good out of this coverage. So what you're going to see is, and I get, a, I get this a lot because I'm usering down here. This window right here becomes very open if this guy's in the inside quarter. Um, unless you drag him kind of in here. So to snap the ball, you see that window is open, but you see this yellow zone come into the vicinity and take this basically away. Comes down and works this underneath hook. Obviously our, our uh, outside third, we, we messed up. I don't know why we, I don't know what we did on that. I think I forgot to shade over top. You need to shade outside and over top, in my opinion, as your first kind of action point, because he did get this. I don't know what I did with that, that guy. But anyways, I want you to watch the crosser primarily. So. At this point, this gives me the margin to be able to recover to the crosser and take that away with my user, okay? So I don't have to have a Mabel zone to the other side of the field. Even if I did have one, uh, I don't think that it would be very effective. So let me show you this play one more time. And uh, we're gonna kinda do our setup. Okay. Um, now, another thing you can do with that guy is you can just put him in, an, in a standard uh, hook curl. You also can put those hook curls, if you wanted to, you can put that at 10 yards, um, and it would take away some other stuff as well. But anyways, this is kind of the ideal uh, coverage. And again, if you take this guy and kind of drag him in just like this, just kind of drag him over the tight end, it's going to help defend that snap throw. And then again, you're just going to have time to recover. So snap of the ball, and you see... I'm just taking that away with my user. It's a hard throw anyway, but I'm now taking that away with my user. So to me, this is the best kind of starting point, in my opinion, for stopping an offense as good as Gun Bunch. So if you want to learn more about it, we have over an hour of footage just on defending Gun Bunch alone in our Nickel 335 Odd Defensive Guide. We also show you how to defend a lot of the popular formations, and we show you how to get pressure, how to have great run defense, how to have phenomenal red zone defense. Uh, we have really, really good red zone defense at this point in the season, which I think is super important uh, the way this year's game is made. You've got to be able to get stops inside the five-yard line. And so if you get the defensive guide, I'm confident that we'll equip you uh, with the tools and the schemes and the setups that you're going to need to be able to play top-level competition in this year's game. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get my defensive guide, it's on sale in the description for just 15 bucks.